Meanwhile, we brought you a story this past weekend on the name, the image, and the likeness, and just how those three words have opened up a world of financial opportunities for college athletes. Now, we also told you how those same three words triggered accusations of buying students and players. So West Chu's sports director or sports anchor Kendra Douglas is going to explain now the latest happening in the SEC. Kendra. Hey, yeah, Michelle. Well, we are starting to see the impact of NIL in the SEC after Alabama head coach Nick Saban accused Texas A&M coach Jimbo Fisher of buying players to land top ranked recruits. Now today Fisher held an impromptu press conference not holding back about the comments made by Saban. While speaking at an event, Saban said some schools were spending tons of money to get players. Now Fisher did have the number one recruiting class in the country for the 2022 season after beating Alabama during the regular season. The Tide class came in second. I mean, we were second in recruiting last year. AM was first. AM bought every player on their team, made a deal for name, image, and likeness. All right, we didn't buy one player. All right, but I don't know if we're going to be able to sustain that in the future because more and more people are doing it. We never bought anybody. No rules were broken. Nothing was done wrong. It was all in the, and the way we do things, the ethics in which we do things. And these families, it's despicable that a reputable head coach could come out and say this when he doesn't get his way or things don't go his way. All right, now earlier this month, the SEC and Pac-12 commissioner did head to D.C. to call on lawmakers to fix problems they feel have resulted out of NIL compensation. Now, the goal is to go above the NCAA's head and create federal law, so a standard set of rules for everyone to play by. Now, no word on how that meeting went, but we will keep you posted for more when it comes out. Stu?